Hey guys, we're here at East Denver. We're going to do a quick walkthrough of the venue. Welcome to East Denver. My name is Matt Locke here. We're going to do a quick tour of the venue, but first we got to stop by our amazing mythical wall here of our lovely sponsors up top. Let's make sure we get those. And we got to cruise by our lovely spork marmot over here to the side. The spork marmot. Make sure you get your mythology down for East Denver. And this is the Pega Bufficorn, okay? So this started as a, a Bufficorn and now it's sprouted wings. It's 2020, this is the year to fly. So we're about to fly around the venue, so come with us. Hello, friend. Hello, hello. Are you excited for East Denver? Oh my gosh, what a day for East Denver. Isn't it just beautiful? Uh, yes. Have you hit the food trucks yet? Uh, original by Greeks. They should call it Original by Geeks because that is uh, that's kind of the event this weekend. It's really great. It's full of geeks, Geek Squad. Um, and we'll have some originals made by geeks. Yes, exactly. The original, uh, that is what I suggest you get. The original Euro. It's the, the way to go. Um, All right. First food review of the, of the conference. We've got a lot of choice, choices of food truck, but we're here at Taco Choi, and we're going to talk to Annie about her experience with the Buffet Eye wallet and all this cool, crazy technology that we're using. Hey, Annie. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you, though? Are you excited to be at East Denver this year? This is your first year. This is my first year. It's actually kind of cool. I was talking to some people that uh, this girl came from Berlin, and I was like, that's so awesome. So she said it's kind of like a get together every year with her friends. She gets to meet up with people. And I didn't realize it was such a big, big deal. Yeah, that's right. I think we have like over 30 countries represented, like maybe even 40 states. So it's, uh, it's a pretty big one. And have you taken your first sort of transactions with the, the wallet? Yes, I did. So the, uh, with that customer that came, um, she just scanned it, did two transactions, and I was like, easy, done. Yeah. There we go, guys. It works. Got a lot of food trucks. And we got this sick wallet, the Buffadow, where you get all your swag, all your XP, all your points, all your voting. Everything's done through here. All you got to do is hit this weird purple button in the bottom right-hand corner and scan a QR code of one of these lovely food truck vendors. It's so simple. This is where you register and you pick up your amazing badge and then you start your journey on the rainbow and go to your respective stages. We've got the rainbow, we've got the moon, and we've got the mountain, which we'll show you later. But these lovely people will help you out getting your badge and getting set up with the Buffadow. We're going to do a quick tour of the art gallery first and we're going to check out some crypto art that you can actually scan and bid for and own. So all of this art is on the blockchain. I believe it's up on super rare, but don't quote me on that. I'm still catching up with everything that's going on here because we're packed. But let's just get a shot here and we definitely have to take a look at these cacti over here because they're particularly interesting. What's the, ti what's the title of this piece? crypto cacti there you go One of we got our sponsors was kind enough to sponsor the lovely coffee zone scale labs this is amazing you can get uh anything you want cappuccino uh you know cappuccino americano whatever you want uh these lovely people have been helping me uh, as we get set up for and through dow fast and sustain web3 and now east denver so Come stop by, get a coffee to your liking, and uh, enjoy the show. We're here at the Schwag store where things are very affordably priced for the hackers. The whole event is free for the hackers, but, you know, if you want to upgrade your apparel game a little bit, just costs a bit extra. We have our lovely staff here at the Schwag store. Guys, let's get a little action going. Woo! Okay. Some are busy in a little transaction, okay? So we've got water bottles. We've got uh, Po up here. Uh, giving out proof of attendance badges, which are always awesome. And let's get a shot of this stuff up here. We've got some regular tees. We've got some sublimated tees with lots of cool designs on them. And over on the end there, we've got the pajama pants. Oh, man, are those sexy. I've seen some as well. So those are perfect for the hackathon. You just, you know, roll over onto a beanbag chair and those things, and you'll be snoozing in no time. 
We are here at the Rainbow Stage. Come with me on a magical ride. We're going to take a little tour here of this lovely backdrop that we've worked so hard on. Check out our rainbow floor a little bit. Spilling out onto the floor, taking you where you need to be. We're going to head straight through here. Say hi to some friends along the way. Let's say hi to Crypto Chicks. Hi, Crypto Chicks. Hello. Yay. Very <laughs> And now we'll go on, we'll check out the moon stage and we'll take a, we'll say hi to some more magical friends. Hi, magical friends. Canadian friends, actually. And here is the moon stage. So we're just wrapping up a talk now and there's lots of great content. We have over 80 talks on three different stages and we have over 10 panels, probably about 15 panels. We're now heading up to the sponsor area, so we're going to check out Sponsor Alley here. It's a little bit crazy. It'll get a little noisier, so I'll up the volume in a moment. But first, let's just take, take a look back and reflect over our main stage, our rainbow, and all of our friends who have come to join us at ETH Denver this year. All right. so. We were just outside of the food trucks. We were just outside of the main stage on floor one, and we went to check out the moon stage. And now we are following the rainbow as we get up to floor two. So we are going to check out the shill zone, which is also the sponsor zone. And then we're going to check out Biddle Floor mini, mini stage in a moment. And then we're going to make our way up further and further as we get more serious into more building. And all the way up at the top, in a bit, we'll check out the makerspace. Hey guys, we are here in the shill zone. We're ready to be shilled, okay? And uh, we're going to check out a few sponsors along the way. I'll just shout out some names. We've got Consensus, Scale, Three Box, Formatic. We've got Dow Stack. We've got people running into me for no apparent reason. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, we got Crypto Chicks again. Oh, a, a rare second appearance. We've got Pepo, one of our main sponsors with our with our uh, communication app. We got. Seller, we've got iExec, we've got Offchain Labs, we've got so many sponsors here. We've got the state of Colorado. That's a first for a blockchain conference, okay? That's pretty big. We've also got Opolis, one of the main sponsors here and kind of the organizer, so that's a little inside, wink, wink. We've got Shapeshift, one of our friends in Colorado, always, always a, a good friend to have at ETH Denver, Shapeshift Keep Key. We've got Quorum in the back here. Let's take a look. Oh, we've got Quorum. We've got Cosmos. We've got Orchid. We have ah Ethereum Classic in the back there. Okay, there's a lot. Um, we've got Lendroid right here, talking that DeFi game, getting you guys some compound interest. We have Pool together. If you guys don't know, it's a zero loss lottery. One of the guys is from Vancouver. Wink, wink. Not me. <laughs> That's where I'm from. Uh, we got BZX. We've got, of course, Gitcoin's back with the Plinko board. This is amazing. Guys, you're crowding the Plinko board, please. <laughs> we've got the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. We've got Cryptorado.org. In the back, we got the Wyoming Hackathon represented. We've got IPFS. We've got BZX guys. And we have, well, we have IPFS Help Pinata here. Let's take a look at this. This looks interesting. I'm wondering when we're going to smash the shit out of this thing. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, lots of fun in the shill zone. Come down, get some amazing t-shirts, get some socks, get some bags, get some ev everything. There's hoodies, there's, there's toques, or as the Americans would call them, hats or beanies. Because toques. <laughs> it's a little Canadian for you guys, so we can uh, translate later. All right. So that's the shill zone. I'm here with one of my friends in the chill zone and we're just hanging out. We're trying to relax a bit. So if you get a little bit too many energy drinks or a little bit stressed out with your hack, you can always come down to the chill zone where the music doesn't stop. Let's talk to some chillers here. These aren't hackers. These are chillers. So uh, how's it going, man? How, how, are you, uh, how are you doing here? I'm doing good. How you doing, man? Well, I'm doing okay. Are you excited to uh, hack tonight? Yeah, it's going to be a chill time. It's going to be a chill time. All right, let's take a look at the DJ setup here. 
This is some pro stuff. We've got the DJs behind a rock wall so that you can't like jump the stage. So uh, <laughs> here we have the mini stage, which is usually a rebroadcast of a few things, but we have an intro workshop here happening with a lot of really cool people. IDEO Collab, we've got Maker doing some intro workshops. We've got Simona Pop from OSC doing some workshops here. Intro stuff for hackers. But if you just pan out here for a second, you can see the biddling has already begun. Everybody is just getting down to business. Look at these people, they're slaving away. They're trying to win the bounties. There's a lot of money on the line this year, so it's, uh, it makes sense that people are getting started early, forming their teams, brainstorming, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. All right, we just left the chill zone where we were chilling, and now it's a bit of a high stakes game here. We're in the VIP zone. These people are, you know, the top shelf of our industry. So uh, I just want to know what makes you a VIP? Um, I work at New Cypher. We, I think we sponsored this uh, a little bit. Um, we're longtime supporters of Youth Denver. Uh, we, I've been to every single one. So it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Are you excited for tonight for the hackathon for to see what everybody's going to be build? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, we've like, we've always been really excited for the Eat Denver Hackathon. Uh, we see a lot of really cool stuff come out of the hackathons here, so it's it's pretty exciting to see what people get to do and build. Uh, looking forward to UX stuff. Uh, I'm interested to see what DeFi stuff comes out of this, and maybe if there's any like novel research cryptography stuff that comes from it too. Be pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, DeFi is a big theme this year. We're going to have, uh, thank you. DeFi is a big theme this year. We're going to have a ton of talks on Saturday, some really great content. But uh, let's leave the VIPs alone for a bit and we'll continue our tour and we'll get over to the Zen Zone. That's even more chill than the chill zone. <laughs> So on our way to the Zen Zone, we are going to cruise through an incredible art exhibition. Come with me. Starting with this knitting here into uh, this amazing light and ambient sound zone. Got a lot of cool sounds coming and hitting you directionally. A lot of great light on this wall over here. And then we're going to head over into, I think the ambient noise is a speaker call there, a speaker phone call. <laughs> <laughs> People are trying to, you know, do a little business in the corner. Check this out, okay? Let's go in here and check out some of the sounds, okay? Watch your head. Whoa. So I got the details on this zone. If we just kind of cruise around, there's 15 speakers uh, with different sounds. And so depending on like where you're lying, you're going to kind of get a different experience every time. So this is uh, quite impressive. So we had a, I believe it was a, a team like Burners from Burning Man come and set this up. Uh, so this is, this is incredible. So uh, let's duck out here though and continue on to the Zen Zone. So let's check out the rest of this installation over here though. This is just beautiful. We'll cruise by, we'll check out some of the ambient art here. Guys, what do you think of the art setup here on your on your sort of you know way to the Zen Zone? What do you think? This is cool. This is nice. I like it a lot. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a K hole. K hole. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave it up to the kids to figure out what that means. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Let's check out some of the artwork here. Let's just zoom around this a little bit. I believe we're doing some sort of sharding here. Let's check this one out over here. Oh, man. I think we came over and it turned off. No, it's back on. <laughs> All right. So let's continue on to the Zen Zone and, uh, and we'll see you guys over there. This is a rare occurrence. John Pollard having a moment to spare on Friday at East Denver. Oranges for kids. He's got oranges for kids. Helping out with, mind you, free child care. True story. That's like one of the only conferences in the world that offers free child care. Right, John? I don't know of another one. All right. Well, let's go in. Let's follow John and let's check out the child care in the check Zen out. Zone. All right. So we're here in the Zen Zone. And unlike the chill zone, this is like a, 
a real low volume zone. Hey, how's it going? How how's it been working the Zen zone? It's quite Zen. It's beautiful up here. I, are you are you relaxed? Very relaxed. I've got CBD. Very relaxed. Oh, uh, anxiety and big smiles. Chilling, just chilling and zen, zenning out here. All right, so we have the the child care that we talked about before. And the Nano app here, connecting parents with great sitters. That's amazing. Let's take a look over the rest of the Zen Zone here. So we have a lot of beanbag chairs. We have actually uh, a masseuse as well. And we, wow, multiple massage therapists. That's crazy. And so when you get really, really stressed out and a chill zone isn't going to do it, you can come over here. We've got a little massage zone in the corner there. And you can also do uh, yoga classes as well. Let's go check out yoga. Relax and chill. Uh, we have three rooms for massage. You can come and sign up and we will make sure you get in a good mood and get back to hacking because that's what everybody's doing here. So we hope you guys come out and see us. Even if you just want to come out and chill and hit one of these big bean bags, that's fun too. But see us first. That sounds great. All right, guys. Even the organizer of East Denver will will do a little quick yoga session for you and and show you how to cut off. What are you stretching out there, John? And does it feel good? Just center your energy. So we do have scheduled yoga uh, with a real instructor. Sorry, John. Um, and you can come here and get and get completely stretched out and relaxed. Uh, awesome. It's, it's like a full health plan over here at East Denver. So Adam over there told us that the products weren't psychoactive, but then something happened, guys. I, I don't know what's going on. We're, we're in this crazy room. So this is also an extension of the Zen Zone. These are some real, real nice napping rooms that you guys can check out later. Neon District, Marguerite, what's your first impression? Of the conference so far? It's amazing. Um, actually, someone just walked by me and said, I can't believe how many women there are here. And I, which I commented, well, I know their team works really hard to make it as diverse as possible. We do try to do that. Uh, what are you looking forward to this weekend? What's, uh, what do you think is going to be the highlight for you? That's a good question. Well, um, Blockade has two teams here for the hackathon, but it's not just Blockade. They've partnered up with um, My Crypto Heroes, Altitude Games, OpenSea. Um, so it's kind of like the little uh, gaming segment of the industry. Is We'll see what they make. That's really cool. All about collaboration in crypto. Right, We're just enter entering the bodega now with Michael Senna from 3Box. Michael, have you partaken in any of the fare of the bodega? I haven't yet, but to be honest, these veggie uh, these veggie crisps look pretty enticing to me. I've uh, Yesterday I was at Distributed Network Summit, and all they had were fruit and crackers. And so like it looks a bit like an upgrade here. Well, there's coffee. I think we're going to get some kombucha taps going uh, real soon, and uh, it'll be flowing all weekend, right? Tell us a little bit about 3Box, and what, what are you guys hoping to get out of the hackathon? Oh, I hope every hackathon project builds just 3Box, first of all. Um, we sponsored ETH Berlin, too, and we got like 25% adoption of projects, and so we're trying to beat our record. Uh, that's our so record. what's the target? What's the target? What's the percentage? Let's go with 32%. You know, we're not really trying to be that ambitious, but we're realistic people. So 32 percent, um, we'd be happy. Um, we just released a new feature today, confidential threads. So hopefully people build, you know, private messaging apps, DMs, group chats. Uh, so we'd love to see that. We need some feedback. Hey, we're here at the mentor desk. This is where you can get help with your hack. We've got a lot of sponsors. Uh, who are basically coming here and doing some shifts to help you integrate their tech into your DAP. Leaving the fourth floor. Oh, there's so much stuff here at East Denver. And we're entering the fifth floor sponsored by Maker. And we're going to come up here and check out how it's sort of been, you know, it's, it's stages and then it's sponsors and then it's biddle, biddle, biddle. And then... We're just kind, of, kind of a hybrid here with all our beanbag chairs, and we're actually on our way 
all the way up to the maker space. And so this space is where a lot of really magical, interesting things are happening. Let's take a little pan over some of our hackers here though. Just check out how everybody's already kind of getting down to work. All right, we're on our way to the makerspace. Now this is a magical experience for the third time, Crypto Chicks, hello. <laughs> we love bumping into our friends. So this is actually all the way up, technically the sixth floor. Um, so check out this awesome deco they got going on in the entryway. This is amazing, hello. And up here this year, you, so you can DIY, you can make stuff, you can build stuff with hardware, but behind me, is a full-blown arcade here so we could check this out lots of fun games do you want to tell us a little bit about the arcade sure i'm mark kraska i'm in charge of arcade and see an arcade services company we work with bossage uh, up in denver and uh, we like to bring arcade machines to lots of events in denver and in Colorado springs and the surrounding areas and we're happy to be here at eth awesome thank you Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna come back here and play some games later. Woo! Hey everybody, we are up at the Makerspace, so just outside of uh, the arcade and just an, on the sixth floor as you get through that sort of the end of the magical rainbow. We're here with Gus, one of the crypto artists, and he's gonna walk us through a little bit of artwork. Gus, you wanna tell us about it? Sure, hey, what's up? Uh, well, I'm here just uh, presenting our platform and some cool NFTs that you can uh, craft and collect on the platform. The platform is called Art All In, and we have some cool galleries like the Cypherpunk Art Gallery. And uh, yeah, it's basically a place where you can trade NFTs and you can create them yourself in a Bitcoin protocol and also with uh, the Ethereum tokens. So that's basically it, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing, thanks Gus. Okay. 